Josh Weinstein is sued after America's Next Top Model star Sharon Brown dumps him in it. Hello lovely viewers and welcome back to Vogue America new episode with Lucy. Josh Weinstein, the CEO of Preview Models and a star from 90 Day Fianke, is at the center of a legal dispute involving allegations of unauthorized use of a model's likeness. Josh faces accusations from model Sharon Brown, also known as Brittany, who claims that Preview Models used her photos without her consent. Sharon alleges that her likeness was featured on the company's website and falsely represented her as a celebrity mentor, potentially to attract aspiring models with her fame. Despite her requests to cease using her image, Sharon asserts that Josh has yet to compensate her for the unauthorized use of her photos. In response to the lawsuit, Josh's company contends that they were allowed to use Sharon's images due to a previous agreement. Despite this, Sharon is pursuing legal action against Josh, seeking unspecified damages for the infringement of her right to publicity. Sharon further claims that preview models used her fame to bolster their business. Despite Sharon's objections and requests for preview models to cease using her image, Josh allegedly failed to compensate her for the use of her likeness. This failure to compensate and the continued unauthorized use of her photos prompted Sharon to file a lawsuit against Josh Weinstein and Preview Models. Sharon's lawsuit contends that Josh and Preview Models violated her rights by using her image without permission and by misrepresenting her role within the company. Sharon, initially introduced as Brittany B., is a contestant who rose to prominence through her participation in the reality television show America's Next Top Model. Her journey on the show was marked by both memorable moments and controversy. During the audition phase, Sharon stood out by bringing her lucky panties into the audition room and she was eventually selected as one of the final 14 contestants. In episode 2 of the show, Sharon made headlines for confidently declaring herself as America's Next Top Model during a one-on-one -on -one session with the judges. Despite her strong start, Sharon's journey on the show was short-lived as she was eliminated early on, placing ninth overall. Her departure from the competition was met with an emotional reaction, with Sharon breaking down in tears as her fellow contestants offered support and consolation. Post-show, Sharon continued to pursue her modeling career. She remained signed with reputable modeling agencies such as Elite Model Management in Chicago, Los Angeles and New York, as well as Zeta Models and Select Models Chicago. Josh Weinstein, the CEO of Preview Models, is at the center of a legal dispute involving allegations of unauthorized use of a model's likeness. As the head of Preview Models, Josh oversees the operations of the company, which serves as a gateway for aspiring models in the fashion and entertainment industry. The company's official website promotes itself as empowering individuals to pursue their dreams in these dynamic fields. Josh Weinstein and Natalie Mordovseva met during a modeling event hosted by Josh's company, Preview Models, in Florida. Natalie, who had recently left her husband, Mike Youngquist, and moved to Florida to pursue her dreams of becoming a model, attended the event in hopes of furthering her career in the industry. During the event, Josh and Natalie crossed paths and seemed to hit it off sparking a connection between them. Despite Natalie's ongoing emotional turmoil regarding her relationship with Mike and her desire for a family, she found herself drawn to Josh. 90 Day Fans Fans Are Done With Angela Deem 90 Day Fans Fans Are Done With Angela Deem and Her Behavior Towards Her Husband, Michael Ilesemi. The two have been together for around seven years. During their time with the franchise, fans have seen the couple have their ups and downs. At first, the couple was loved. However, that has changed and fans are fed up with her behavior. Keep reading to find out more about this. Angela Deem and Michael Ilesemi Angela Deem and Michael Ilesemi have had a lot of ups and downs in their relationship. Michael has had problems when it came to getting his K-1 visa. However, he did end up getting it and came to the United States. His time here with Angela did not last long. Michael is still in the United States, but it is unknown where he is. He runs away from his home with Angela and wants no contact with her. He told the police he feared for his life. Angela does not know where he is and neither do fans. However, he is okay and alive. I still don't understand how anyone can see Angela's abusive behavior as entertainment. Just imagine if Michael was doing to her what she does to him. The way Angela treats Michael is beyond abusive. She just yelled at him three times to sit down like he's a dog. She is the worst, most abusive, disgusting, drunk, 
which that has ever been on this show. Angela abusing Michael again next week throwing drinks on him after demanding his phone. Why is that TLC awk with showing DV? Imagine if the roles were reversed. Well, no one wants to see Angela on their screens anymore. Do you like her or do you feel the same? It seems that fans want Angela to be fired. They do not want to see her on the show anymore. People feel as though she is abusive emotionally, verbally, and sometimes physically. However, she does not seem to be going anywhere. The two reappeared on 90 Day Fiance, happily ever after. Fans want to see Michael get out of the situation, and it seems like he may have when he ran away. What do you think about their relationship? Jasmine Pineda debates revenge makeover amid infidelity accusations. No matter what is going on in 90 Day Fiance star Jasmine Pineda's life, she wouldn't sacrifice her look for it. She tries her best to level up her dressing game and has been burning the midnight oil for it. Hence, the celeb ends up debuting new makeovers every now and then while she keeps surprising her audience. Amid all this, Jam Sign recently shared some glimpses of her latest transformation. Fans weren't able to take their eyes off and wondered if this was a revenge makeover. Is this true? What is Pineda trying to do amid facing infidelity accusations? What is she up to now? Controversies Her relationship status is under a huge question mark and the audience is confused because of her strange behavior. Even after all this, Pineda isn't ready to give up on her fashion and appearance, as she has been experimenting with her looks amid all this chaos. Jasmine recently took to Instagram and shared a carousel of pictures from her brand new look. This time she decided to go for a denim butterfly halter top. The Cella paired it with matching jeans and the same shrug. Pineda leveled up her game by tying her hair up in a bun and opting for a classic brown lip. Jasmine gave viewers a closer look at her makeover, and some of them were quick to note that she wasn't wearing her wedding ring. While fans noted that the wedding ring was missing from her hand, they also observed that Pineda added her location as Birmingham, Michigan to confuse them further. However, they weren't able to take their eyes off Jasmine and concluded that this was her revenge makeover. 90 Day Fan star Jasmine Pineda is currently facing backlash for several reasons. Apparently, some sources have accused her of cheating. They noted that Gino had kicked her out of his house because she cheated on him with a guy named Matt. The celeb allegedly met the latter at her gym and has been living with him after her husband disowned her. Fans were in shock and confronted Jasmine about it. However, she appeared to be in no mood to clear the air. Pineda seemed to be least bothered, and she wasn't shifting her focus from herself. Apparently, viewers have started to believe that Jasmine wants to become a model in America. Even during Happily Ever After, she begged Dino to register her for the pageant competition. But that's not all. Jasmine added the hashtag of hashtag model life, which raised eyebrows for her audience. They now believe that Pineda is perhaps hinting at her new gig and trying to enter the modeling realm. Hence, it is evident that Jasmine is now focusing on her professional life more rather than crying over her personal and bedroom life.